let's look at an example of angle side angle. So if I were to draw this triangle that we have the information for, and my drawings are not perfect so you'll just have to bear with me here. Angle A is 48 degrees, angle C is 57 degrees, and we know side B which is directly across from angle B is 47. So we have angle, side, angle. Alright, now first of all, since we have two angles, we can get the third angle since the angles always add up to 180 degrees. So let's just take 180 degrees and subtract off the 48, and subtract off the 57, and that will tell us what our remaining angle is. And that is 75 degrees. So I'll go ahead and fill in my chart over here or my picture with oops, 75 degrees. All right, now we're going to use the law of sines here. So let's notice that I know what the side across from B is. So I'm going to use sine of angle B and I'm going to put that over the side B. And I'll go ahead and find side A first. So I need to put sine of angle A over the missing value A. All right, now, to solve this, first I need to get A out of the denominator. So we will cross multiply across the equal sign. And I will get A times sine of 75 degrees and 47 times sine of 48 degrees. Now, sine of 75 degrees is just a number. I can put it into my calculator in a minute and find out what that number is. So I'm just going to go ahead and divide out the number that's multiplied times A and get it to the other side of the equation. So I get A is going to be whatever this answer on the right when I stick it into my calculator is. Now the one thing you want to be careful about when you stick this into the calculator is that you have your calculator in degree mode and not radian mode since everything is measured in degrees. So if I stick this thing in as it's written I get that A if I round it off to the whole number is approximately 36. Now we still need to get side C. We've got side A, we've got side B, we don't have side C over here. Alright, so let's use the same exact setup. I'll use sine of 75 degrees over 47, but this, this time on the right side I'm going to use angle C. So sine of 57 degrees over side C. Exactly the same process. Cross multiply e, sine of 75 equals 47 sine of 57 degrees. Divide out that number that is with our C. And then let our calculator do the work to figure out what this is. So 47 sine of 57 degrees divided by sine of 75 degrees. My calculator, if I round this to the nearest whole value, tells me that's approximately 41. <laughs>